Hi everyone, how are you going? I'm on to start my calendar for next year. This, I'm going to follow, well sort of follow, the prompts that Nina Ribena is having in her Facebook um, group. And I watched Nina's the other day and she's just printing off... Um, the, the calendar for next year off the internet and putting it together herself and I just thought that I might like to recycle this calendar this one here is a rather a big one and my hubby and I get these from our local chemist because he gets quite a few medications and every year we get their free calendar so I'm going to be using this and doing the the art prompts once a month, once a month, and then I'm also I will print just the the blank calendar off. So I'm going to use an A4 piece of paper and fold it in half because I thought that's that's a nice size to have a bit of artwork up the top and then the, the calendar months at the bottom. And when I'd done that I thought well why don't I just use our 2017 calendar and cut it down to size. Okay so that's what I think I'm going to do there and that's where I'm going to start. So I'll do that now. I'll just use my old board for this. My other one's out in the lounge room. And I just couldn't be bothered stopping the video and going get it and going to get it. So <laughs> I'll just swivel around and use this one. So I think I might just clip these together at the sides. these ones just so it doesn't move that much for me so let's put that one up there and this one over here So that might make it just a bit more sturdier for me. And I'm going to, uh, hang on, I've got a stapler right up here in the corner. So I'm going to have to get rid of this stapler just here first. Yeah, should have thought of that. And I'm just pulling, I know you can't see much, but I'm just pulling that stapler out up there. So I won't hit it with my, my blade. Okay, let's get this back together. Make sure I've got it straight. Because I just put the, just to get the size of it, I just folded the A4 piece of photocopy paper in half and just placed it down on there just to get the markings. So okay, so that's the width my calendar is going to be. And now I shall just do the length, and I'll keep these the um, these offcuts here. I might make those into one of those paper snippets that I seen Deb make art art zoology art zoo zoology art zoology on YouTube. So I'll keep that. 
and I'll just cut this off for the length of it and I'll also cut um, I'll also keep these off cuts here too and do something with those later on okay so that is going to be the size of my calendar I'm just putting that out of the road and Right. and I, do, I like this size I think that's going to be a pretty good size so that's going that's the start of my calendar for 2019 and I will print off the the months off the internet and just glue them down the bottom and I'm going to use the top for my artwork. So that's I'll what I'm going to do organized now. and grab what I think I might need to start the artwork for the top and I shall be back. Okie dokie. I think I'm a bit organized now, which is lovely. So I cut my calendar down that I'm going to be using for next year and I'm going and I also cut out a few of these 5 by 7 cards that I am going to glue to the top of my pages with my artwork on it and the bottom pages I'm just going to photocopy some next year's calendar of the internet and just glue it down there so I'm I'm more or less just recycling a, a calendar for my 2019 calendar and I did make up a few of the 5x7 cards and these were the leftovers out of the papers so I've got some strips there and I'll use those for I might make some of those border strips with the, the paper snippets and I've also got this size paper left too that I might, I don't know, I could cut it in half and make some tags out of or something. Okay, so I'm going to start with January's and January prompt with Nina's group is all about words. Hi everyone, how are you? Um, no, I don't have to say that because <laughs> this is going to get attached to the other video I done on making my um, well recycling my calendar to make it into a calendar for 2019. So in the first part of the video you would have seen that there. I ended up printing out my calendar for the bottom half and right now I'm going to start to... what am I going to start to do? Okay. <laughs> okay. And right now I'm going to have a play for the artwork for the top part of my calendar. Um, I watched Nina's video and then I watched Maggie's video and that was a good couple of weeks ago. Um, I know the, um, the alcohol was involved and this is the only alcohol um, that I can get here. It's the Isocol. And I actually don't think it's as strong as the one that you can get overseas. It doesn't actually tell me here. Um, blah, 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 blah. I know it's not a full alcohol. I'm not sure. It doesn't. Isopropyl alcohol contains but it doesn't tell me how what the percentage is anyway um, 
<clears throat> I just thought that I would just have a play and show you how I'm going to decorate. I've how I'm going to decorate the top of my calendar each month. Everything's a little bit different. I've got my big box here, my spray box, just there, and I've got a piece of the one. 120 GSM mixed media paper that I cut down to the size and I'm going to use my Dilutions ink sprays and this one is pure sunshine now in January here in Australia it is extremely hot well this year it has been We've got a nice cool day today because we've had rain the last couple of days and it's been lovely. So I just thought I'm going to start with some light inks going to a darker colour. So that was the Pure Sunshine and then I'm going to use Squeezed Orange and just sort of fill my page up. And this one is post box red. Um, and put some of this on it as well. Uh, I might spray a little bit of this. I'm not sure if this one still sprays. Bubblegum pink. A little bit. Okay, and quickly get my isocol. And just put some dot spots on it and see how I go with this. I think it might have dried too fast. Oh no, it's working. I thought it might have dried too fast because I have got the fan, the overhead fan on me. Because it is hot. It's still hot. It's still muggy. But it's cooling me down nonetheless. Okay. So that's reacting pretty cool. Yep, you can see that. That's really cool. I like that effect. And I'm just going to smudge that off there. This is the um, just the piece of paper that I've been using because I've been having a play today. I done I done the blue one, purple and blue. This side here is purple and that side's a blue. But I used the um, isocol on that as well. And just thought I'd have a little play. That one there didn't turn out very well. It's You can still see the effects, but it didn't show up that good. But this one here, I'm liking that so far. It looks pretty cool. I like that. So what I'm going to do now, um, I'll just give that a dry before I take my box away. Okay, I'll just move my box away and come back. Put it up there out of the road. <sighs> and this is just a little bit smaller than the size of my I'll come out a little bit than the size of my calendar is going to be. So I most probably end up putting something around bordering it as well. But that's what I'm going to use for my background. I think it's sort of sort of based on Nina's, but not quite because I know Nina did quite a few layers and so did Maggie as well. But I'm just staying simple. I think I'm just going to stay simple. Okay? Now what I want to do, because I want to stay in with Nina's prompt, which is words. So I'm thinking, thinking, thinking. 
get my ink out and okay I'm back <laughs> I found what I was looking for in my stamp collection um, I know Nina just had words on hers but I'm thinking just something a little bit different and I'm wanting to put a sunflower on my uh, on my background so that's what I'm planning on doing and did I mention that January here is really hot? <laughs> um, so, okay, that's what I'm going to do. I've got some stays on ink, and I've also got a little saying that says, keep your face toward the sun, sh the sunshine, and the shadows will fall behind you. And that is a quote from Walt Whitman. And I've also got a little word, a little stamp that says shine. But I'm going to get this uh, what's Madubulaki. Oh, come on, girl. I'm going to get this sunflower down first. So I'm going to give it a good ink up, hopefully. Okay, ink is on and press it down onto here, just at the side I think. Make sure I give it a, I'm giving it a good hard press so I'm not worried if it spreads a little bit but I do want a good image of it down there and hopefully that's it well not as good as what I thought but that'll be fine I can work with that oh, I'm not sure if you're going to see that hmm okay so I've got that there and I also want to put this phrase down on there but what I'm going to do first is just get a small amount of gesso is that a little brush and Where do I want this? I think I want it just to dip out there. So I'm going to get a little bit of gesso on my brush and just put a little box down here so that you could you can see it just a tad better I know that ink's going to react but that's okay I'm not worried about that and while I'm at it I might just put a little bit up in this corner maybe a touch down here okay Now I'll just quickly give that a quick dry. And ink up my phrase. Okay, I want that just there. Yep, that didn't run too much. A little bit wobbly at the bottom, but that's okay. 
and I've got my word shine which I'm going to put just up up here just about there okay so I'm still using word for the prompt for January and now I think I'm just going to have a little play with what do I want to decorate that with? Um, now I think I might use my watercolour pencils. Where are they? Uh, what did I do with them? Oh, here they are, right in front of me. I mean, right beside me. Okay. Now, I've only got, um, this is just the Faber-Castell 12 pack of Art Grip Aquarelle pencils and I think I might just just colour around and add just a bit more colour into my flower. Which is okay, it seems to be taking all right. And a bit of green. Okay, so far so good. Well, scratch the paper off that then. Don't want to do that, do I? No. Alright. So I'll just dry that. You can still see the circles behind it, which is so cool. Alright, and now I'm just going to get a what am I going to get? A black, is that black? Yep, a black gel pen. And just go around the, oh, the, um, the outsides and just give it some definition. Okay, I'm really liking that. I did miss a bit of this leaf here. So I'll just quickly go in and just put a bit of green on that in there. Just there we go, that'll do. And I'm actually liking how you can still see the alcohol circles underneath. That looks pretty cool. I like that. Okay, let's see if this is going to take on here. I'm just trying to put a few of those seeds back into the centre of it. That looks alright, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. That looks pretty cool so far. I like it. My little saying, keep your face always toward the sunshine and the shadows will fall behind you. Walt Whitney and I've got the word shine there too. So now I'll just grab my, uh, what is it called? My Signo. 
and I'm going to just go inside this if it'll work. Put a few little white dots in there. I don't want too much on there, but I did want a little bit. So that looks pretty cool. I can handle that. Okay, so I think that's all I'm going to do with my first page. I like it. Uh, I might ink around the edges though. So I'll just get my black and ink the edges. That little boy next door is crying again, poor little thing. Every afternoon they must try and put him down for a sleep and he just cries and cries and cries. I also got the word, the stamp smile out. I was actually going to put it down here but I don't think I will. I might just keep that as it is because I do like that. That looks pretty cool. I like the background and I like just putting the sunflower there and the little phrase. So where is my calendar? So that's going to be glued into my calendar there. I'll just come out a tad. That's going to be glued in there. And I'm just thinking what I'd like to do around the background. Okay. <clears throat> so I'll just put my first little calendar art piece over there. Just tidy up these things here around me. Stamps can go back. This is another little cool stamp I have too. I like that one. It's got little hearts that I'm thinking of using for February. So you'll have to pop back on to see that. Okay. So now I might just give that a coat of gesso to start with. I'll just rip off some of this so I can put it on there. Just put that under there and get my big brush. And open the gesso and knock everything else over. Okay, so I'm just going to give this a quick coat of gesso. I'm not going to worry about it too much in the middle, but I am going to put some there mainly just work around the edges so I'll dry that and just go again around the edges just to make it a bit darker Okay. 
and give that one a dry too. Um, while that's drying, I might just grab my paper and I am actually going to um, just give this page here a quick gesso as well uh, before I put my photocopied calendar onto it. Just want to take out the brightness just so that you can't see like the green or the blue colour underneath the paper that I'm going to be gluing on top of it. I think it should be alright. I hope so. Okay. Alright, let that have a dry and I shall be back. <laughs> <laughs> 